Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OOP1 students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 30 in this series and is entitled J Frame Form with J Combo Box and J List. For activity 57, we will create a Java project that uses a J Frame Form to contain two J text fields, a J Combo Box, a J Toggle button, and a J Label. We will set values of plus, a minus, a star, and slash for the J combo box. We will allow the user to enter the numbers via the J text fields. Uh, select any of the values in the J combo box and create an event when J toggle button is clicked to process the numbers according to the operator selected. We will display the result in J label. Let's create a new project. Let's call it Simple Math. Finish. Let's create our J frame form. Let's call it frame one. Finish. So we need two text fields. Let's put one. Let's edit text. Let's delete it. Let's make it bigger and change the name. We change it to TF1. Uh, we need another text field. Same thing, we will delete the uh, text, make it a little longer again, and we will change the variable name to tf2. In between them, we need a tag, oh, sorry, uh, a j combo box there. Okay, let's change the name. Uh, to CBX1. Okay. Uh, we will change the values using the model property. So let's go to the properties. There is the model. Select it. And we'll change it to plus, minus, multiply, and divide. It's okay. Now we need a toggle button. We'll edit the text to compute. And we'll also change the variable name to button one. And the last one, we need a label to display the result. So we'll change the variable name to LBL1. So that's it. Now uh, we need to make our event, that is when the button is clicked. So let's double click our button. This time we're going to convert uh, two texts from our two text fields. Uh, let's just make them integer. And when is equal to integer that parse int, uh, we'll first get the text from the app one. So that is get text and our N2. Let's just copy it. Control C, Control V. We'll get it from our second text field, TF2. So how we will know what has been selected? We will use the get selected index property of our checkbox. So if CVX1 uh, dot get selected select there get selected index is equal to zero so that means it's the first item which is plus then uh, we'll change the text of label one to we'll put the operation here plus n1 plus n2 Let's simply copy it. We'll see. Else, if CBX uh, get selected index is equal to 1, then it will be N1 minus N2. Let's copy this all. And another one. If it's equal to 2, then that means that's the third operator and it is to multiply the two numbers. And the last one, 
is to divide the two numbers n1 divided by n2 kalas let's try to run it let's enter 4 and 2 so right now it's plus let's compute it it's correct 6 let's use minus that's 2 let's multiply them it's 8 and let's divide them it's 2 we will continue working with activity 57 by replacing the G combo box with a G list and we'll set its values to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Okay, so let's go back to the design window. We'll just put it a little. We'll now delete the G combo box and replace it with a G list. Let's move it there. Okay. Just make it a little wider and smaller. Uh, So we'll try to change its name also. Let's call it LST1. And uh, it also has this model property. So we'll change them to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Okay. Then let's go back to our code. So this time, uh, there's no more CBX1, but what we have is LST1. This one is LST1. This one is LST1. And this is also LST1. Let's try to run it. It's so simple, right? So let's put a number it's a 6 and 2. Let's add them, compute, it's 8. Let's subtract them, 4. Let's multiply them, 12. And let's divide them, 3. So we just finished demonstrating G frame form with G combo box and G list. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.